wondered how a lab-grown diamond is made? How do we get to this? And how does that get to this? Turns out there's two ways to grow a lab-grown diamond. And how do I know this? Well, I didn't. I went to the experts over at Vray and they walked me through it and now I'm gonna walk you through it. These cube-shaped rough diamonds that, that have captured the hearts and souls of the internet are made by a process called CVD. Chemical vapor deposition. This is the end result of the CVD process. They start by taking the cutest thing ever, a diamond seed, placing it into this vacuum chamber. It's not I am the diamond seed. I am placed into this chamber that is filled with carbon rich gases. Diamonds are made of carbon. When I'm in here, I am being heated up. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Carbon atoms are sticking in one vertical direction onto this diamond seed. And that's why it looks like it's a cube in the end because it grows only in one direction. Bray's foundry in the Pacific Northwest uses this process to use zero emission and uses renewable energy. Not all lab-grown diamonds have sustainable processes and are actually sometimes not better for the environment. I've seen that comment a lot and it's not true, but with Bray, it is. And so obviously this still doesn't look like the diamonds that we all know today. That's because this is a rough diamond. A rough diamond has not been cut. And Vray has walked me through the process of cutting this and making it into these. And I am gonna have to do a part two because it is worth it to watch how this is done.